Christ is among us. He is among us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Were you paying attention to what I just read? Do you realize how insane it really is? How radical and crazy it sounds. Did, did you hear it? The Lord says, do unto others as you would like them to do unto you. Okay, sure. That sounds easy enough. And then he talks about three things. To love, to do good, and to lend, to give. And he says, not only should we love those who we don't love, or who don't love us, or do good even to those who may not be able to do any good for us, or to even lend to those who cannot expect to receive anything back from. He takes it up an even higher notch. He says, love your enemies. Love your enemies. Do good to those who would do you evil. Lend to those who have no intention of giving it back to, who never possibly can. That's crazy. That is the life of the gospel, brothers and sisters. Not just to love those whom we love, and to do good to those that we can kind of expect to get something back out of, and likewise with our treasures, but even those who hate us, even those who have done ill to us, even those who would use us, we are called to show kindness. This takes some, a little yes, insanity, but it also takes great courage and great integrity, great temerity, if you will. The life of the gospel is the life of radical love, standing against everything our own impulses would have us do. Our own impulses would have us hide, protect, secure. All the time, don't we feel it? Every single day, we feel that urge to wall ourselves off and to protect what we have. We are celebrating the Feast of the Holy Protection, and our church is called Protection of the Mother of God. What kind of protection do you think that is? Is this a bank where we come to protect our goods? Where we come to protect our security? And ask the Mother of God to be our, our security guard? Is that the kind of protection we believe in as Christians? No. The protection we are asking for is protection from evil. Yes. Protection from those who might harm us. Yes. Protection from the catastrophes and disasters that happen in the world just because we live in a, a world full of entropy. Earthquakes, floods, fires, and so forth. We do not ask for this protection so that we can hide from the world, from people, and fail to engage them, and fail to do good to them. We ask for this protection so that we can be bold and a little bit crazy to love those who even hate us, to do good to those who do evil to us, and to give to those who will never give back to us. We need this brothers and sisters of Christ. We need this now more than ever. The world doesn't even look to the church anymore for the kind of help and love and kindness and mercy that the gospel is preaching. The world has given up hope that the church has actually anything of that to offer. The world has decided these churches are just clubs. Or for people who maybe have some views or some values or some prejudices where they can go and they can pat each other on the back and make themselves feel better for being the wicked sinners that they really are. That's what the world thinks of a church and in fact I'd say many of us also suspect that to be the case. Is that not true? How do we destroy that lie? By not fulfilling it. We destroy that lie when we fulfill the gospel. When we live the life that Christ has 
calling us to live the crazy, radical life of love and self-emptying that he lived himself. That's what we're called to do. <coughs> then the world might turn around and say, you know, there really are some Christians left. Not just in name, but in deed and in fact. The world needs us, brothers and sisters. The world needs you to go back, look at the gospel we just read, and to do it. Not just to think about it, not just to hear it, not just to sing it, to live it. Then we will be worthy of the protection for which we are asking. We'll be worthy of the love that we proclaim because we ourselves have given. Let's do it. Let's not hesitate. Another day. Find somebody today <coughs> whom you may not even like and they may not even like you. Find somebody whom you can't expect to get anything out of. But do something nice for them without any seeking of return. Give away something of your own to somebody <coughs> and not expect anything back. And feel how good that is. Feel the life of Christ dwelling within you. Feel the joy. Feel the washing away of all the guilt we might feel for our hypocrisy, for the richness that we have, the fatness that we have in this world. And we will be able to start walking with a clean heart and a clean eye and a clean mind with joy and lightness in our being. That's what God wants for us. That's the freedom of the gospel. Freedom of a crazy man. Get crazy, brothers and sisters. Go crazy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us. He is in the